In this video, I'm going to answer once and for all, what is the best VPN? And I'm going to use it using actual data reasoning and comparison between all the different VPNs on the market. If you don't care about the analysis and you just want the short answer, the best VPN overall is NordVPN. It's the one that I use and it'll be in the first link in the description. But that being said, there are some nuances between different VPNs. And in this video, I'm going to go through all the nuances so you can find the absolute best VPN for the case you need it for. Now, what we're going to be using to compare all the different VPNs is this spreadsheet right here, which was made by the r slash VPN subreddit. Literally the biggest VPN experts came together and put together this entire list. I will leave the link to this spreadsheet in the description so you guys can follow along as well. It has literally every VPN ranked with exclusive deals that you can get on them and then gives them an average score out of five on a bunch of different criteria. And then if you take the average of this criteria, you get what the VPN's overall score is. Now you can see here that NordVPN has an average of 4.56, which is the highest. However, that doesn't mean that it's necessarily the best in every single one of these criteria. So let's go through a couple of the different criteria that's important and see which ones are best for each criteria. Now, all you have to do is just scroll down and you can see all the different criteria and how they give a score from zero to five. For example, one of the criteria is jurisdiction, which basically means what country is the company providing the VPN established in and what are the data retention laws like in that country. And then the score goes as follows. I don't need to read through this whole thing. You guys speak English, but this is how their scoring system works. And they set up a different scoring system for every single thing to make sure it's fair. For this video, I'm going to just be going over speed, availability, and pricing, because I think these are the most important things in a VPN. But if there's any other criteria that's specifically important to you, I encourage you to check them on the spreadsheet. Again, the link to it will be in the description. And as you can see, as they scroll down, they give literally a ranked list for every single item. First, we have speed. Now there's a lot of good options here. Mullard VPN, NordVPN, Proton VPN, Viper VPN, and Windscribe. All of these have a score as a five on speed. Again, NordVPN is the one that I use so I can speak to it. And the speed on it, as far as I've used it, has been solid. Next, we have availability. And this gives you a full list on what types of devices this is actually available on. And again, a lot of these actually qualify. For the most part, pretty much all you need is Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android, and in some rare cases, maybe Chrome extension. And as a bonus, a smart TV is also a nice touch. And with NordVPN, it has all of these things. But once again, there's a lot of VPNs on here that have all of these. Again, NordVPN is the one that I can speak to since I use it. Lastly, we have pricing. Now this is very nice because it sorts all the different types of pricing that each of these VPNs have. So here it has the one month price, the one year plan price, the two year plan price, whether or not it has a free trial, if it has a lifetime plan, and if there's any money back guarantees. And then based Based on all of that, it gives it a score from zero to five. Now you'll notice, and this <laughs> low key makes a lot of sense, is that the better the VPN is in pretty much all the other metrics, the worse it's gonna be in terms of price. So you can find VPNs like CyberGhost that are $83.76 for a two year plan. And because of their 45 day money back guarantee and a one day free trial, they ended up getting a five on the score of pricing. But then you have to use CyberGhost, which lacks in a lot of other important categories. Compare this to NordVPN, which is by default $99 for the two year plan. But with the special discount that's included in here, you can get it for I think $80, which is even cheaper. However, it doesn't have a free trial and only has a 30 day money back guarantee. It got a three in terms of pricing on here. Again, you can go through everything you want on the spreadsheet to find out what you actually want. But since NordVPN is so good in pretty much every other category and then pricing, it's probably at a three or a four if you include the discount. I think overall, you can't go wrong with NordVPN and that puts it at the best overall option. However, again, I recommend you look at the criteria and depending on what you're actually using the VPN for, you can figure out which one of these you should actually use. So I hope this video gave you an in-depth answer to what is the best VPN. If this video helped you, and again, I made this for you guys completely for free, consider leaving a like on the video. As always, thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video and peace.